But first, rubber roasting. Tire smoking action is all part of the fun at a modern car rally, but at this rate the tires will go bald pretty quickly. But whether it's natural wear or deliberate destruction, you can still recycle them. One interesting solution is carpeting for cow sheds, but we'll find out more about that later. In one year alone, the British public scrapped over 40 million tyres, but just over 10% of them were actually recycled. First, they're collected at state-of-the-art facilities like this one. The first step when recycling a tyre is to check its condition. Some still have some life in them. These can be sold on to dealers or shipped to other countries. However, if the tyre gets a red mark, it's beyond repair and must be destroyed. The sorting process is done by this machine, which used to sort mailbags at the post office. Now, instead of bags of letters, the camera scans tyres. If it spots any with red marks, they're sent to the pile to be destroyed. Tyres with any wear left in them can be recut or sold on. Where they will go depends on how worn they are. The sorting system identifies the right bin to put the tyre in and it's released to await its fate. The red mark means recycle only, but this is no easy task. The recycling plant can't just rip them apart. Modern tyres are made up of many elements, including rubber, steel bands and man-made fibres. There are a lot of different things there to deal with. The first stage of the recycling process is the shredder. Breaking the tyres down will help to separate the metal from the rubber. Tyres that end up here certainly won't be rolling along the open road again. In the shredded pieces that emerge, you can clearly see the metal and fibres within the tyre, which still need to be separated out. To do this, the rubber and metal chunks must be ground down several more times until they're much, much smaller. This conveyor belt contains a powerful magnet. As it passes over the finer shreds, the steel is collected. The metal industry will pay good money for this abundant source of scrap. The magnet has removed most of the metal, but there's always some left over. The next machine shakes it up and then pours it across smaller magnets. The remaining fragment should be caught as the rubber passes through the grate. And this is what you're left with. Black gold. No, not oil, but pure rubber. Every year, this facility can recycle 30,000 tons of old tires. One of the more ingenious uses for this recycled rubber, carpeting for cows. To make it, the rubber is heated to around 50 degrees Celsius. Too hot and it sticks together, too cold and it won't mix. It has to be right. New chemicals are mixed in that will help to create a firm and durable new rubber. Next, silicon is sprayed over the forms. This will stop the recycled rubber sticking to the pan. It's a bit like when you grease a cake tin. The machine will now measure out 50 kilos of the fresh rubber mix into each form. They're then fed into the ovens to cook at 150 degrees Celsius. The rubber melts together and takes on its new shape. What emerges is a gigantic mat, similar to the type you might find in a school gymnasium for PE class. The workers strip off the edges to get the mats into the right shape, but what will they be used for? Well, it sounds unusual, but research shows that a comfortable environment improves milk productivity. These mats will be laid to soften the footing for dairy cattle. The mats need holes to help with drainage. These are cut using a very unusual knife. It doesn't use a metal blade. Instead, it uses water pressurized to almost four tons per square centimeter. It's incredibly powerful and slices through the fresh rubber with ease. The mats are now ready and just need to be installed. Like fitting carpet, the farmer lays them down before letting the cows back in.
It's hoped that by easing the pressure on their hooves, hooves like these will be more comfortable and more productive. Apparently, comfy cows produce more milk. The more milk the cows produce, the more the farmer profits, so everyone benefits. Just one of the many new uses for old tyres transformed along the road of recycling.